everybody let us start with lesson number 5 the fundamental unit of life the fundamental unit of life is cell and the cell is the basic structural and functional unit of life robert hooke discovered cell in 1665 robert hooke made his own microscope and he observed a slice of cork under that microscope where he found the structures which are like honeycomb and he gave those structures the name as cell and now cell theory cell theory is given by two scientists matthias schleiden and theodor schwann they told that all organisms are made up of cells cells are the basic unit of life after this rudolf virchow expanded this theory by saying that cells are cells arise from pre existing cells that means if any cell is there or if any organism is there its parental cell also exist in the world now the types of cells there are two types of cells according to the presence of nucleus in them and these are prokaryotic cells and eukaryotic cells prokaryotic cells examples are bacteria and eukaryotic cells the examples are different plants and animals so there are certain differences between prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells which you also have in the ppt uh, now i am telling you just uh, certain differences that prokaryotic cells do not have any nucleus well defined nucleus they have only the genetic material inside them which is mainly rna and in eukaryotic cells the nucleus is well defined and uh, plants and animals which have the cells which have uh, the proper membrane bounded nucleus prokaryotic cells are smaller than eukaryotic cells now on the basis of number of cells organisms are of three types acellular that means which do not have any cellular structure and the example are viruses all type of viruses which do not have any cellular structure they are the link between non living and living when they are not in the body of any living organism they act as non living and as soon as they enter into any living cell they start using the energy of that uh, living cell and reproduce now unicellular cell unicellular organisms the organisms which are made up of only one cell amoeba is well known unicellular organism plasmodium etc like certain uh, plant cells like yeast and all they are also uh, unicellular organisms and the third type is multicellular organisms that means the organisms which contain more than one cells and the examples what ever we see around us like human beings trees cats dogs elephants etc these organisms are made up of number of cells and they are considered as multicellular organisms 